okay good day guys good day to you all welcome back to the formula sports channel a quick video on some breaking news that took place last night or that was uh, announced last night bobby reed and uh, michael hector everybody's favorite player michael hector <laughs> both will be out for the upcoming friendlies as you guys know both were were initially supposed to be a part of the squad um the respective squad for squads for japan and serbia both the japan and serbia games but unfortunately both are out for personal reasons many people might not miss michael hector i mean he would have been good from a depth standpoint and some people as well had him down as a starter in this game as a holding as they start at holding midfield um and already um significantly weak position for us in um in regards to this upcoming tour you know when you look at the the, the, the personnel that are up for the the role of holding midfield on this particular tour so Hector being out in my estimation is a is a is a blow, right? We already, you know, were in problems. Or we already had problems in the holding midfield position on this particular tour. And then obviously, obviously Bobby being out, man. Obviously Bobby being out is just a massive, massive blow. I mean, arguably the best attacking player we have in this particular squad for this particular tour so you know bobby being out it is just not 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 ideal i mean most people when looking at it would have expected to see bobby reed playing as a number 10 in this um in these two respective games for this particular tour Right. I, I don't think anybody thought that Bobby would be playing the under 24 or the under 23 team, whichever one it was. But for the, the, the national teams, you know, Serbia and Japan, most people thought that more than likely we will see um, Bobby D. Cardova Reed in the number 10 position because really and truly, you know, he would have been the best candidate for that particular role and you stick somebody else out on on the flanks right so i mean more than likely we'll probably either see a casey palmer or a, or a ravel morrison in that position right now but bobby reed is out he has been replaced by kemal malcolm right he has been replaced by kemal malcolm so you know that's that's the story right there i mean no disrespect to kemal malcolm but obviously you know bobby d card over reed and out and to replace him with kemal malcolm that's a huge drop off a, a massive and and i say that with no disrespect to malcolm it's just the truth right but i mean you're talking about an english premier league player here right but a massive massive blow for jamaica i mean you know, we thought, I mean, we were already scarce of options, right, in the attacking third. Much less or arguably the best attacking player in the squad to, to, to be out for personal reasons. You know, sad man, it, it, you know, it, it was um, surprising and disappointing when I heard of, his, of, his, of him not being included. So, you know, that, that's... Uh, no, that's not good at all it's not good at all um it's looking even more tough an assignment the job the um japan and serbia games they are looking even more tough an assignment now with bobby d card over read out and michael hector as well right so i mean uh, not good news at all not good news at all from my understanding of it it has not been confirmed as yet who will replace who will replace michael hector i haven't heard a name who will replace michael hector as yet so there is speculation you know that it could be anthony grant i don't know but you know 
if it is him you know that would be good to see him you know he's one of the the the, the bigger names being called with regards to the holding midfield position right but ideally it would have been good to see him both him and bobby reed on the field together you know but uh, such is life such is life you just have to roll with the punches i mean in my estimation man the 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 gold cup and world cup preparations aren't going smoothly they aren't going smoothly and with Bobby D. Cardova read out and to a lesser extent Michael Hector being out. I personally think it does have, a, have an impact on the, the World Cup preparations. Um, because especially Bobby is such a massive player for us going forward. And for him to be out in these friendlies it, it significantly limits our ability to play, you know attacking positive attacking football i mean it was already going to be difficult to do that against superior opposition in japan and especially serbia right and it, it, with bobby out it makes it even even more difficult i mean some may argue he's our most creative player in this team in this current team others will say ravel Morrissey, even though you know ravel hasn't my thing with that is Ravel hasn't played in a while. So I would have given I would have given Bobby Reed the edge in terms of from a realistic standpoint as to who was the most creative player in the team. But you know, as I said, man, we just have to roll with the punches. And unfortunately, Bobby D. Cardova Reed won't be in it. And everybody's favorite player, Michael Hector, won't be in it as well. So that's it, guys. Stay safe, take care, and until next time.